to it. And I think it's timing is really perfect too, because after, you know, everybody's gung ho in January. And then, like you said, it's easy to fall off the wagon and get distracted and say, I'm, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore <laughs> or for whatever reason. So, yeah. So this exactly. is good, good to talk about. So anyway, yeah. yeah. And so we're also going to touch on Kim and I are involved in a new social media um, venue yeah. called uh, it's Clubhouse. Called, yeah. And, and it's basically a, a, um, a global network marketing space. It's audio only. And you go on, it's, it's for entrepreneurs, marketers, people in business, actually for anybody who just wants to learn more about all the things. There's so many topics. It's artists are in there as well. It's a really cool platform. And so we, we yeah. learned a lot and we've been holding our own little rooms, um, helping educate women 40, 50, 60 plus to how to age better and how to age smarter. So we did a group a room yesterday about emotional eating and it was, it was really amazing. A lot of good tips. So we're going to share some of those tips today and we're excited about that. So, and so um, just a side you, note oh, yeah. on the clubhouse. That's okay. The, the side note is it's iPhone users right now only. So, and mm -hmm. I have invites if anyone is um I do too. Interested. I have invites. Yeah. Oh, if you're interested, you got, let us know. Oh, that's my cursor. It's like, I thought you had your cursor on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. This is a comedy seven minutes as well, everybody. <laughs> All right. So go ahead, Kim, you could go ahead and start with our emotional eating. Okay. So we have an emotional eating. We, we're talking about the emotional eating cycle. Usually there's like a trigger and then there's like a desire for the food and then you, you overeat it and then you feel guilty and then it starts all over again. So I'm going to try to share graphic, my screen show, here. Yeah. And, you can oh, show that and that's my Facebook. Cool. That's not the screen I wanted to. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so right there, the, it's a trigger. Um, something happens that, you know, it upsets us or whatever, and then we grab for the food and then, um, you know, we feel an overwhelming urge to eat. You can read this too. We overeat it. Anybody been there before? And then we feel guilt afterwards. And then, you know, and we feel powerless from the food, but then it starts over again. It's, it's a never ending cycle. So that's what we, we were talking about, how to break that cycle and how important yeah. it is um, to try to break that cycle. And so some of the couple of tips I'm gonna give, and um, I do wanna share, I remember I've had my share of emotional eating and cravings. Um, when I was pregnant with one of my kids, I don't remember, I've had four, so I don't remember which one it was, but I craved grape nuts, with honeycomb cereal. <laughs> you remember honeycomb? <laughs> you remember that yeah. commercial? Oh honeycomb. my gosh. Da, yes. da, 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 honeycomb. <laughs> okay. Some of you are too old or too young for that. Um, but anyway, I don't know. I, and I thought, well, I'm eating half healthy, right? <laughs> but it was like, I don't know how I came up with that combination. But once I had the baby, it's like I no longer craved it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Right. But anyway, um, a couple of things we can do that I find really works for me is the five minute rule. And the five minute rule is to kind of just step away. Like when you get that craving, say, okay, um, I'll just, or even a minute, say, I'm just going to give myself a minute. I'm not going to eat it right away. I'm going to distract myself with something, um, get busy with something else. Um, we talked about, you know, going out for a quick walk if the weather's good, because the weather's been nicer here now. Um, doing a little dance in your kitchen and put some fun music on and, you know, nobody's watching. And even if somebody is grab them and dance with them and, um, or things like that, or it's just a good way, uh, or go read something, something where you can like take your mind off of it. So that's one way. Um, another way is to, and I think this goes with all eating, but think of when, when you're regular, when you're eating your know, regular food, your healthy food, that you want to be very mindful about eating and what your um, and what that food is doing for you and sitting down and actually having no distractions then and really enjoying your food is is key. So um, I think those were a couple of things that that really helped me is to be more mindful. And so when I am tempted with something that's not healthy, um, then I just think, OK, I realize how's that going to serve my body? How am I going to feel afterwards? Because most likely when I overindulge or indulge in something I shouldn't, I don't feel good afterwards. I don't feel good later. So um, yeah, and I always think about that too. It's like, how do I want to feel? And that's what I encourage my clients to think about as well. So Robin, what, do you, what are your tips? 
So my, one of the tips that I got, and it wasn't my tip, it was from um, the other gal that we spoke with, that was in our group yesterday, Wendy. Um, she's a, a fellow health and nutrition coach. She gave a great tip uh, about emotional eating was every time you feel like you need to put something in your mouth and it's really like not dinner time or you're not that hungry, you just have that feeling is to write down in a journal, like what was it that prompted you? What were you thinking about just then that made you like maybe feel like you needed to eat? I thought that was such a good tip because I don't really think we really that. think about that. So Wendy, we love that tip. Um, the other thing is I'm um, finding healthier snacks. Kim on our talk yesterday had talked about finding carrots, um, eating nuts that are really good. Um, uh, walnuts. Um, I love pistachios. So something with a healthy fat in it, um, to, to munch on and to get that crunch. And then the other thing that I also, always, <laughs> I was no, going to say I'm quickly, saying, but, but the a nut thing is the savoriness of if you're craving a savory yeah. snack like chips, crackers. Right. Nuts are so with nuts with sea salt are like an, a great um, way to, and you, you can't eat a ton of them. You know, you get full. Right. Right. Because they are high in fat, but they're they're healthy fats. So yeah, they're actually good for us. I just, <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that definitely, they curb my, I love walnuts. So that's what I usually mm -hmm. do. The other thing is if you are going to grab a processed food, which, you know, we hope that you, you don't, you, again, I think last week, Kim talked about the bad seed oils, the canola, the corn seed, cotton seed, soybean. You want to stay away from those things. Look at your ingredients. I can't tell you how much and how important it is to read that ingredient label. I stress it all the time. And then also to watch your grams of sugar and make sure that it is an organic, um, pure cane, you know, good sugar, use a monk fruit, use a honey, um, an organic maple syrup, that, you know, something, you can look for ingredients on packages. It's getting better that people are using these things instead of, you know, sugar substitutes. The, the uh, looses, looses, loses, the sucralose, you know, the sucrose. All the oses. You know? Yes, yeah. stay away from those. And then you watch, watch your grams. So like um, eight grams or below is what I look for on a package, an individual package. But for women, you wanna stay around six teaspoons or 24 grams per day. And for men, nine teaspoons through 36 um, for, or 36 grams per day. And remember, I'm doing a disclaimer here. Kim and I are not doctors, but these are things that have worked for us. Um, and I yep. am like, I want yeah, to yeah. scream it from the rooftops because I feel so good in the last almost three years from doing yep. these, these alternatives. So disclaimer. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I mean, it's, the, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Chia pudding. Yeah. yeah. Um, Chia pudding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, like you know, you, you, we, we are what we eat. We've mm -hmm. all heard that and it, it shows in our bodies and our skin. And so, you know, we, if there, there are a lot of easy ways we can do simple, there's simple nutrition. I call it simple nutrition because right. it is simple, but, um, and I was going to invite everybody to, um, we have a group called how to age smarter, uh, private Facebook group, free group. If you want to join us and learn more tips and tricks on how to age smarter, just, um, Look for that group. You can Google it or DM me and, or Robin and we can add you to it. Yeah. So yep. I think we're, we're up with we our seven minutes. We're done. Yep, we are. Um, thanks for joining us again. And this um, happy laughter hour as well. I didn't know we were going to turn it into comedy, <laughs> but this is so happy wellness Wednesday. Um, think about uh, national nutrition month and what it's all about. And um, ask us any questions in the comments or make comments. So have a great right. day. Thanks. Bye, Robin. All right. Bye. And now I got to turn this off. You're going to have to give me.